The Silent Apology, Understanding Nonverbal Regrets. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving deep into the world of nonverbal apologies. Sometimes, words aren't the only way to express regret. Let's learn how body language and actions can also convey sincere apologies. Nonverbal communication plays a huge role in how we interact with each other. In many cultures, actions often speak louder than words. By understanding nonverbal apologies, you can perceive subtle cues of regret and contrition that might otherwise be missed. 1. The head bow. Seen especially in many Asian cultures, a slight bow of the head can signify respect and remorse. The depth and duration of the bow can vary, but the meaning is often clear. 2. The apologetic smile. A soft, rueful smile, often accompanied by downcast eyes, can show one's regret without uttering a word. 3. Holding hands over heart. In some cultures, placing one's hand over the heart is a way of showing sincerity and genuine regret. 4. Avoiding eye contact. While sometimes seen as a sign of dishonesty, avoiding eye contact can also indicate shame or guilt over a wrong action. 5. Gift giving. Offering a gift as an apology is an action-based way of showing regret. The type and value of the gift can vary based on the magnitude of the apology. Recognizing a nonverbal apology is as essential as knowing how to respond. When you see someone displaying signs of regret, 1. Acknowledge their gesture. A simple nod or a smile can show that you've understood their intention. 2. Use words if necessary. If you're unsure, it's okay to ask, are you trying to apologize? This opens a door for clear communication. 3. Respond in kind. If someone bows their head in apology, a nod or a slight bow in return can convey acceptance. It's crucial to remember that interpretations of nonverbal cues can vary widely among cultures. What might be a clear sign of apology in one culture might not hold the same meaning in another. So, it's always a good idea to learn and be aware of the cultural norms of the people you're interacting with. And that's a wrap on nonverbal apologies. Remember, communication isn't just about words. The next time you interact with someone from a different culture, keep an eye out for these subtle cues. We hope this video has added a new dimension to your understanding of apologies. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.